Oh, do we not get a new outfit for that? No. No, we don't get a new outfit for that. Okay, so... Okay, so we're a bit less depressed and... Well, we're a bit less yielding. Uh, still depressed. We're slightly angered and pressured. Right, so everyone's saying we should go for Lumen here. So let's have a quick look at skills. Um, we do actually have a slight bonus to Mystical. Alright, so... See you later, Kellyanne! Alright, let's do a little bit of Lumen, okay, and... Um... Do all the lumen things. Do okay. We just do just do some lumen. Let's do some lumen classes. All right. So lumen, lumen, sense magic, and let's do some resist magic. There we go. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. Mm, my mother told me I'd go blind if I did that. You increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it difficult for mind-affecting magic to twist your reactions. Remember, the festival of the good lady is approaching. Mm, I like a good lady. There will be a public there will be public celebrations to the for the commoners, followed by a, a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball? I've always wanted to have a grand ball. There will be dancing. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now. Decide later. There is a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony. I remember her from school. She, she, her parents wanted a, a, a boy. Bryony, kind of like Brian wanted a boy. Oh, never mind. Um, but she's a couple years old, years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevin has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest for her. Okay, right. We've run out of women to talk to down here. I don't really see any need to go to the treasury. I don't want to become more yielding. Um, eh, let's walk in the gardens, shall we? Let's walk in the gardens. There's two wheel for okay. Let's let's actually let's sneak out. Let's go out. That sounds good actually. I forgot about that one. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You find a peasant that looks just like you and swap clothes. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Right. Okay, so we're much less yielding. We're still depressed. That's not we, we, okay. We need to, actually we need to work on cheerful things. Um. But uh, I'm not entirely certain what we need for uh, if we're going to be working on Lumen skills. Well, actually, that's a bit better than what it was. And what's our chain? Um, our will. We need to get willful for this, by the looks of it. Okay, so skills. Uh, okay, so do you guys still want to do Lumen stuff? Again, all the lumen things. Okay, all the lumen things. All the lumen. Sorry, I'm not going to do that again. I promise you. Uh, we'll wield magic this time. You practice using small amounts of magic and feeling that power outside of yourself. You learn to summon a small glowing light, which you can move around independently. Unfortunately, it floats over your crystal, which is now, as we remember, tattooed on your left buttock. Today is the procession and the planting of the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. Your people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. 
Lead the parade, lead the parade and make a speech, or would rather not go. Thanks, Chelsea. The support is overwhelming. Lead it, but no speech. You can tell the people have played this game, can't you? Okay, we'll lead the parade. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader there ever was. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Uh, no, yep, yeah, lots of tests. Let's have... What was the point of all that work against elegance if we're going to fail? At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. Then, new life is blessed, and all the attendants join in song. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Alright, so we want willful. That's the big willful one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's sneak out. Let's sneak out. You sneak out, bloody bloody bar. Okay, done again. Uh, looks like she's been sucking lemons for the past three weeks, doesn't it? So, her also mood. Right, much more willful. And yeah, that's giving us a nice uh, a start of a nice bonus now, so that's good. So, classes. Um, resist magic, wield magic. There we go. Um. If there's one of these that we're supposed to be concentrating on, do feel to shout, feel free to shout out. You learn to consciously protect a magic project a magical field through your thoughts, blocking outside magic from touching your mind, but only when you have the energy to consciously resist. Simon's never played this before, so how does Simon supposed to know how the bonuses work? You learn how to cast rays of white light which can banish shadows and blind your opponents. Are you ready for the Grand Ball? All the nobles of the Domain are here to see you, to see their Queen. Group. You finish dressing and ascend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around you, the rich and the powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. My god, we actually passed something. I think it's the second time this game. Uh, you, you let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing them upon them that you're not a child, but a queen. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. It unscrews. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kigal. Kigal. The Duke of Kigal alone has three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your dancing, possible dancing partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Okay, so we are utterly clueless about this. Any particular points? Why do we have to dance with a boy? Yes, I know, but, uh... Well, okay, the, you, Melody is voting for Scandalous. Three for Scandalous. One for her age. Anyone else going to jump in? Scandalous. You don't want everyone assuming that whoever you pick first is your intended marriage partner, so why not make your choice as ridiculous as possible? With that in mind, you approach the Duchess of Ursel. You admit to yourself that you're hoping such an outrageous act would cause her to lose some of her composure, but she remains unruffled. At least the chorus of shocked whispers around you as you take your place on the floor is gratifying. Dancing with a real partner feels different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now, every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of your own which steps you're supposed to do when you trip over your own feet. Whoops! Between dances, there are time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. 
Uh, failed again. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an, an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenelle, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit and control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman. She, has, she was a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No, Bryony. She said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching her Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? She is really thick, isn't she? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? <laughs> okay, what should we do? Um, we can visit the dungeons. We haven't visited the dungeons yet. Um, let's do that. We haven't done that one yet. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Oh, at least we got a different expression out of her now. Come on. Alright, so look, we're getting a nice big bonus now for this, so... Let's just go into classes and... what have we done? I will do Sense Magic and Wield Magic again. Actually, no, what we need to do is Sense Magic and Resist Magic. There we go. Okay, nice big bonus there. Your mentor summons up a magical energies to strike the nearby grounds so that you can learn to sense someone else's spells in use. You close your eyes and call out when to detect your mentor casting a silent spell beside you. You gain innate resistance to light and dark. You can now see in the blackest caves or stare into the sun without going blind. Wearing that dress, probably a good thing. You learn to consciously project a magical shield around your body, blocking intrusion. A powerful technique, but you can't keep it up for long. Take off the dress for a bonus on Willful. <laughs> You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the Domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm you don't realise your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his... companion. Bob. Why, well, you are so kind, Jocelyn. Countess Sirin, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet, not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles. No husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father. What should we do, guys? What should we do? What should we do to Bob? Shame her with silent scorn, insult her with false flattery, or trip her as she passes. Shame her, shame her, insult her. Any more choices? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, we're going to shame her. You meet her eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. My god, we did something right. Her colour pales and she releases her grip on your father's arm, mumbling an apology before hurrying out of the room. You have... 
defeated her. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that, York, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more, and I'm prepared to give it to her. Twice. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You will need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. Oh, I'm pressing the buttons a bit late, okay. If I'm going to take the blame, I'm going to take the rewards as well. So, you are welcome. I'm more than happy to do something right. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you should be aware of everything around you. Okay, test against brains fails. I am paying attention to what's around me, she says as someone stabs her in the back. Right, I got nothing. What should we do? <laughs> You're absolutely right, bit late. You take the blame and I take the rewards. Perfectly fair. Any preference? Flowers, sneak out. Flowers. Oh, Alright, let's go with the flowers. There we go. Let's go to the garden. The walk in the fresh air helps. You forget the burdens on your shoulders. Nothing else happened, but she's got a bit of a smile on her face. So, classes. Um, actually, what are we arguing in skills? Okay, so those two are high. So we should do sense magic and wield magic. Let's do that. Sense magic, wield magic, done. Oh, up to 50%. Nice. You learn to detect ongoing enchantments such as blessed we weapons that can do magical damage. Your skill sense is 50. Yep, we know. You learn to create tiny discs of solid light which can fly through the air and cut into tar targets. By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent which panics or enrages animals in the area. You've unlocked a new outfit. It's time to hear you decide any necessary adjustments to the world budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. Test against accounting. Partial success. Good lord. I don't really understand all these numbers. Maybe I should leave them alone. Raise taxes. Keep them the same. Lower taxes. I mean, I personally say let's keep them the same, but it's up to you guys. Keep saying, same, same, lower, lower. Alright, everyone, most people are saying the same, so we'll go with the same. I think they're fine as they are. As you wish, I have no opinion. Right. Okay, any preferences? Um, cheerful and willful. Cheerful and willful. Oh, so what if we are? That's cheerful. Uh, let's do some willful. Let's go and visit the treasury. You visit the world treasury and check your available funds. You have 9,996 9 solid gold lassies and five silver to lassies. Okay. New outfit! Magical girl! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> right, okay, so we've now got a nice bonus to magic. And we've got a nice bonus to learning it, so let's just carry on with the lumen stuff, shall we? Ah, uh, let's not bother saving. Let's just run through this. Wherever else it works. We'll do it, but we'll, we'll probably do a serious playthrough this against this later on, alright? So, classes. Uh, sense magic and resist magic this time. Oh, very nice. Yep, yeah, we're going to get through. We're going to max these out, I think. You learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical signatures so that you can tell roughly what a spell you detect is meant to achieve. You expand your magical perception and give some idea of where a detective spell was cast from and how long ago. It was three weeks ago and from the tattoo on my left buttock. You gain increased resistance against heat and cold, becoming comfortable in different weather and environments. 
and able to hit sip, sip hot soup without burning your tongue. You learn how to quickly flare magical shields around you to detect, deflect an incoming attack. This uses much less energy than a constant shield, but requires good timing to be effective. I'm not going to save, and I don't particularly care if we failed. I mean, it's one of the endings. It's all. It doesn't matter. Um, try restarting Mega Racer. That's the only thing I can think of. You are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of murder by strangling of his wife. He does not def deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the magic of powerful beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. Demons? This man is a lumen. Where did he get a crystal? Okay, so we can question him, pardon him, imprison him, or execute him. Damien made me do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going with question as well, so let's question him. It was the demon's magic that killed your wife, not your own magic. So you know what I am. He throws out his hands, and his fingertips elongate into floating strings of gold. Die! Golden chains slash at you like whips. Ooh, with so much warning of course, it is easy for you to resist. His attack bounces harmlessly off your shields, the chains flying back to the direction they came, where they find an easier target. Before your eyes, the renegade Lumen is choked to death by his own powers. After a moment, an orange crystal materializes next to his body. I'm not touching that, that's been tattooed onto his left buttock. I guess we'll have to take that for safekeeping. Oh, another achievement unlocked there. Right, okay, so... Um, should we sneak out? I haven't done that one in a while. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Dad, we got the crystal from the treasury. Let's sneak out. You sneak out of the castle to have little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Especially dressed like that. <laughs> What's her mood like? Okay, so she's willful to the max. Alright, and no longer depressed, but not really cheerful. And her skills. What the heck? Okay, so we're going to max out sense magic and we'll put some in wield magic. So sense and wield, there we go. So if I'm right on this, one more week after this and they're maxed. Oh, would you look at that, 98.51. You learn to detect the latent power that signifies a lumen even when he or she is not actively working magic. You expand your senses, learning to detect spells and magical creatures at a greater distance. Well, that one went well. You learn to create a blade of solid light, which you can wield like a sword to slide through flesh and stone alike. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through the end of a staff, burning whichever you point at. By concentrating, you learn to create a wave of discontent, which panics, confuses, or enrages other people around you. Right. My lady, there is a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner which is entirely in inappropriate for a queen. As if anyone's going to think of that where they're dressed like that. Um. I what? With a squid? Called William? No chance. Is it hilarious or is it terrible? What do you think, guys? Hmm. 
<laughs> Everyone thinks it's hilarious apart from Billy and Buster, which thinks it's both. So, okay. It's hilarious. That's actually pretty funny. Just then, an incredibly unlucky breeze swirls between the windows of your tower bedroom, tugging the paper out of your hands and off into the sky. You stick your head out of the window to discover the poem caught and fluttering on the roof nearby. You can almost reach it. Time out or ignore it? I think both of these are going to end badly, so yeah, what do you guys think? Ignore, 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 yeah, let's ignore it. What's the worst that can happen? It blows off and someone reads it and laughs at you? That's better than breaking your neck. Besides, if you're lucky, it'll rain and wash the words away. Oh, the Duchess is back. Should we go and have a chat with her? <laughs> I'm surprised she can walk around the gardens. If you attack an enemy lumen and win, and they leave behind a crystal, is it possible to combine that crystal with mine to make it stronger? Each lumen can only hold one crystal. The only way to combine their magic is if a living wielder chooses to join its power to another. Oh, well I know what you need to do, bitch. So, I should destroy other crystals to stop anyone from using them against me. That is the traditional policy, but it is a lie. Lumen crystals cannot be destroyed. Rulers claim otherwise to discourage thieves from seeking dangerous treasures. What am I supposed to do with the crystal then? Guard it, or hide it, or give it into other hands to wield. But if the last holder of the crystal was an enemy, the residents of the crystal will work against you. It will be attuned to a personality as foolish and violent or scheming as the lumen you defeated. So anyone taking a crystal will probably become a new enemy, and that's useless. A weak wheeled candidate might be acceptable to the crystal and yet still controllable. Bryony, where are you? You then steer that lumen away from dangerous paths, making an ally and changing the crystal's resonance. <laughs> when does David Bowie turn up? <laughs> it is, however, a dangerous endeavor, and one that requires your complete attention. Not really a project I can work on while I'm so busy studying for my coronation. Well... It's only one crystal, that's not too much trouble. Oh, she is stupid. Uh, 